Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Absolute Football six box inner case number eight. So we did the first inner last night and we're doing the second inner tonight. All card chip, of course. A lot of great stuff in this. I think the first half was pretty solid, so maybe we have the makings of a, of a hot master case. Big thanks to everybody here for getting their spots straight up and pick your team number eight on the 30th. Happy New Year, too. Upcoming New Year. There you go, Walter, Last Spot Mojo, Chargers. And here is pick your team number eight. Remember, we marked that last night, so you know it's from the same master case. All right, good luck. So here's what we're looking for. I don't think we've seen that. I think they generally fall one per case or are they guaranteed one per case? I think they generally fall one per case. Either way, I don't remember seeing one in the first half. So maybe we'll see it in, in this half here. Remember, folks, we are we are taking a break for a new year, just two days, two nights. The uh, 31st and the 1st will be back on Saturday. So with that being said, I don't know how many how many more opportunities we'll have together to talk about this Sunday's NFL match. And we'll talk a lot of playoff matchups, too. But Week 17, what are the interesting matchups in Week 17? What's still pending? I guess Cowboys-Giants? Right, Giants and Cowboys both battling for the uh, battling for the NFC East. I think the Cowboys are still in it, right? And the Giants. I think Giants might need a little help, but I think they're still in it. Dolphins, Bills, no, nothing really there. I guess Ravens are still battling for a playoff spot. Ravens at Bengals. Should, Ravens should be able to win that, right? There's Raquan Davis. Dolphins, 11 out of 50. That's for for Jay. I think the Dolphins also have to win, and they're in. There's Joe Mixon and Tyler Boyd, two-color dual relic team tandem to 199. That'll be for Jared and Cincinnati. And there's red zone Aaron Rodgers. There he, oh, there it is. Not like this. He's not flying in that way. He's flying in like this. I'll go to the Packers. Aaron Rodgers having a nice season this year. MVP candidate. We got Shaquille Barrett. 19 out of 99. Gridiron Force for Tampa Bay. That's going to be for Karen and the Bucks. Got it. A.J. Brown, quad relic for the Titans, 2 out of 49. That's going to go to Peter Ng. And there's Frank Clark to 75 for the Chiefs. Drew Locke, George Kittle, Jermichael Hasty to 199 for the Niners. That'll be for Raphael. All card chip, too. And there's J.K. Dobbins. Triple relic and autograph to 199. Piece of the pigskin in there, too. I think J.K. Dobbins has kind of been showing off his skills a little bit later on this year. I feel like I'm hearing his name a little more often. There's Eno Benjamin to 100 for the Cardinals. All right, next box. I'm looking at ESPN's playoff standings here. So I think the Chiefs have the 
have the number one seed locked up. So they're going to have a bye. I think they're resting Mahomes, which, I mean, I'm no football coach. But, but I feel like to rest them this week and the bye, I know you're trying not to risk unnecessary injury. But do you risk rust? When does rest become rust? Oh yeah, Danny also saying that he did not see Kaboom in the first half. So I think as far as the AFC is concerned, looks like looks like it's pretty much set. Right? Because there, there's eight, right, in the playoffs? I think it's set. I think it's just seeding, I think, is just what we're figuring out. There. Chiefs, Bills, Steelers are one, two, three. Then it's Titans, Dolphins, Ravens, and Browns, and Colts. So I think it's set. It's just trying to figure out what the seeding is going to be. And there's a lot of tiebreaker stuff. But only seven make it? So then it's uh, then Colts are on the outside. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so Titans, Dolphins, Ravens, Browns, and Colts are all at ten wins. If there's only seven playoff spots, that's, that's going to be wild. Okay. And then a lot happening here too in the NFC: Washington, Rams, Bears, Cardinals, and Cowboys. Those teams are all vying for the final one, two, three, four spots. Ooh. Right, oh, right. So then two plays six, so on and so forth, right? With the, okay. I think they, did they change it this year? Do we like the buy? I kind of like it. There's Josh Uchi to 199. And speaking of Washington, Triple Relic and Autograph, Antonio Gibson to, 20, to 299. 399, that is. He's shown some flashes of brilliance. For Ryan Bartow and the Washington football team, they got a chance. It's Vaughn Miller to 75. Gotcha. Matt Arnold's confirming that, yeah, this year is the first year where the team, uh, the top seed team in each conference getting a bye. There's Jerry Judy. This should be an autograph. Yeah, in the autograph spot. Nice. 44 out of 60 for my rivals, the Broncos. Matt Arnold. There you go, Matt. for getting the Broncos. Chase Young, he's looking pretty good too to 199. And we've got, there's my guy right there, Josh Jacobs to 25. Raiders offense is just fine. I, mean, I think we know what they need to do in the offseason though. There's Anthony McFarland Jr. Oh, and Josh Allen. There's Josh Allen first. 27 out of 99. Good to see the Bills. It's, it's going to be fun to watch the Bills in the playoff, I think, as a as a neutral fan. Steve Wright. Buffalo! And there's Anthony McFarlane Jr. to 100. Steelers are going to be interesting, too. Oliver Soria, he's a Steelers guy. Are they going to be the 11-0 Steelers in the playoffs? Or are they going to be what we've seen more recently? There's Dan the Man Marino to 100. If you, some of you may remember that uh, I made some super crazy long shot dogs to win the uh, division. My only play that I have left would be uh, would be the New York Giants winning the division. I, I that was my wacky pick. I felt like it was kind of boring picking uh, favorites. But every year, there's always like some team where you're like, they're, they had no business winning that division, and they, and they do. Giants have a shot. I'm rooting for the Giants this weekend. I want them to win the division, which should cover all of my other futures plays that I had, and, uh, and, and a little profit as well, which I'll take. have actually been kind of sneaky tough. I think after Saquon went down and everyone was like, yep, yeah, that's it. 
But imagine... I mean, imagine if the Giants had Saquon Barkley. How many wins is that? Would that give him a couple more wins? Saquon Barkley worth a couple more wins? Maybe. I mean, having that kind of threat definitely changes changes the your your offense. I'm trying to look at close. When did they lose Saquon? Did they lose him in they lost him early, week two maybe? I mean, they lost the Rams 17-9. You don't think Saquon makes a difference there? They lost the Cowboys 37-34. You don't think that makes a difference? They lost to the Eagles by a point. Saquon makes a difference there, right? They lost to the Buccaneers by two points. Saquon makes a difference there. Oh, there's the kaboom. And it's... Is this your rookie rushing leader? I think he still is. Clyde edwards Elaire. That's uh, Joshua B. with the Kansas City Chiefs. Kaboom! These generally fall one per case. These are pretty awesome. Yeah, it is pretty sweet, Josh. Nice. Let's w hopefully we'll see him in the playoffs and go off in the playoffs and that Kaboom card value will... Uh, one out of ten for the Ravens, James Proche. Aaron Billingsley with the Purple Birds. Lynn Bowden Jr., Raiders edition, War Room Relic to 199. We saw him with the uh, in Miami running a few trick plays here and there. Jay going, oh, sorry, check that. Uh, McKee with the Raiders. Travis Kelsey, stargazing to 50. There's Cousins, there's Jarrett Stidham, there's Lynn Bowden Jr. again for the Raiders to 199. And a Clyde Edward Delaire autograph. Nice. I did send it, Bill. Did, I think you might have two different email addresses. Check both. And check your spam folder. I didn't know which one to send it to. But they've all been sent. Clyde Edward Delaire, Kansas City Chiefs. Joshua B. Nice autograph right there. Another one to keep and hold on to. See if he uh, see if he emerges in the playoffs. Dak Prescott to 100. Cowboys looking good to close out the season. Dwayne Haskins, where does he end up? There's Jason Huntley to 199 for the Lions. That'll be for Tony. And Joey B. Wow, nice. Triple relic and autograph. 93 out of 99, Joey B. That's for Jared Brinkner and the Bengals. Nice. And there's my guy right there, Henry Ruggs from McKee. Out of 100. Yeah, so far so good. And we still have three boxes to go. We've got half of this inner case to go. Now I want to see Herbert, I want to see Tua, I want to see Jalen Hurts. See you. Happy New Year. Sorry, I just walked away with this box. There's Jordan Love to 199 and Tyler Johnson, triple relic and auto. 57 out of 99. I like that they put kind of a canvassy sort of feel on the front this year. That'll go to Karen and the Buccaneers. 
Derrick Henry to 50. Man, I thought Derrick Henry was, was going to feast against the Packers. That just didn't happen. All right, and we got Darnell Mooney, Chicago Bears, Kyle. With this dynamic player here to 149. Damn, Bears could be in the playoffs. MVP Mitch? There you go, Kyle. Kyle D with that one. Anthony McFarlane Jr. for Oliver and his Steelers to 199. It's an exciting time of year, folks. NFL playoffs. We just hope that all these ball players stay healthy. If I want to see full strength squads out there. Out of 100, Mike Williams Bolts. Maybe for Walter. We got Miles Sanders. Triple relic and autograph. 35 out of 49. For the Fly Eagles Fly. That's going to go to Jonathan O'Neill with the Eagles. And there's Derrick Henry right there. Triple relic. 13 out of 75. Tools of the trade. Peter Ng. Titans. Tighten up. And there's Javon Kinlaw to 100. Niners. All right, two to go. Um, anyone in San Antonio or in Texas? What is Frost? That's that's the sponsor on the Spurs. Is that a bank? I think I I had I feel like I've asked this before. Bank maybe. LeBron's birthday, Tiger's birthday. Guess what? Nick Jaspi's birthday as well. Happy birthday, Nick Jaspi. Ah, oh, it's his birthday. Give him the foul. <laughs> All right, Terry McLaurin, Devontae Parker, and we've got Van Jefferson. 21 out of 50. Rams, Drew, with that one. And there's the guy that throws him the ball. Jared Goff, 16 out of 490. Broke his thumb. It was pointing the other way. He popped it back in. He got surgery the next day. They got a pin in it. And I think they're going to put a brace on it. And then I think at that point he'll be able to hold a football. So... I think they're trying to have him play either this week. See what happens there. There's Damon Arnett, 18 out of 50. Defensive back for the Raiders. McKee with Vegas. There's been some, some moments for him, some good moments for him, but he'll need to evolve pretty quickly. 133 out of 19, we need him to evolve pretty quickly. Team tandem, dual relic. Calvin Ridley, Matt Ryan, ATL, Kelly with the Falcons. And Michael Pittman Jr. for the Blue Horseshoes to 50. Kurt, Kurt Disser with the Colts. Juwan Jennings to 199. Looks like another Blue Horseshoe. It's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Triple relic and autograph to 249. And AJ Epinesa, Buffalo. 
And the final box, Absolute. I think this is, this is, I didn't see any more Absolute in the back. So this might be it for the time being, but we'll be on the, be on the lookout for more if we can get it at a good price from our distributors. Final three mini boxes, good luck. Kuzma. Can't get the ball poked away from you like that. The DJ Dallas for Seattle to 199 and Keyshawn Vaughn for Karen and the Bucks triple relic and autograph. Piece of the pigskin in there as well out of 399, 337 out of 399. Got Anthony Miller to 25 for Chicago. All right. We got a Michael Pittman Jr. autograph. Nice. To 75. Kurt Disser and the Colts. And we got Nick Chubb quad relic. Nine out of 49. I feel like Brown's still battling some COVID issues or COVID related issues. Kelly with the Browns, which might affect their chance to get into the playoffs. I'd like to see him in the playoffs. Oh, I've, sorry. I, this question just popped in my head. I remember someone asking it, but I forgot to answer it. Are we investing in uh, Baker Mayfield? Who asked that question? Is that person still here? Sorry. Yeah. Baker Mayfield. I don't know. If he makes it to the playoffs, it's a good playoff run. His value has been up and down and then kind of climbing back up again. So the market is still, is still uh, the jury's still out on that market. LaMichael Pirine, five out of five. He's had some bright moments too. Patrick Davis and the New York Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And last but not least, dual relic, Chris Godwin, 22 out of 99. We'll see how Brady looks with the Bucks. All right. In the playoffs, Sean Alexander, 9 out of 10. Look up some Sean Alexander highlights, kids. Some pretty good stuff there. And a pretty good break. That was Pick Your Team number 8 of 2020, Panini Absolute Football. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Uh, happy holidays, happy new year, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.